<laughs> anyway. <laughs> we could use a little more sunshine, you know that? You know what? Um, we've got some clouds out there, and right behind us, I'm taking a look here, we do have some sun poking through at the yeah, uh, kind of. beach mm -hmm. in Santa Monica. And if we go to the Hollywood Hills, you'll see some of those cumulus clouds. It's not bad. It yeah, is a little chilly pretty. out there. Pretty to look at. Um, it is pretty to look at. We are looking at uh, temperatures that are going to warm up gradually. It is going to be a, a gradual warming trend uh, as we are in the wake of that trough of low pressure that moved through yesterday. In fact, right now here at the broadcast, it's only 69 degrees. Well, yeah, 69. We'll see. It's going to sort of flounder around 69 and 70. Uh, we are looking at big time warmer temperatures later on in the forecast. We'll get to that in a bit. Let us start off first, though, with a pinpoint forecast of the San Fernando Valley. We'll, we'll take a look at 69 degrees by dinner time tonight, 55 as you work through the late night temperature and 78 by lunch tomorrow. So we are going to warm things up a bit as we make our way in our forecast tomorrow. Still have that onshore flow, but the winds are pulling back. So the wind advisories that we had yesterday in the warnings were a done with that for now. We've got sustained winds in the ballpark of 10 to 15 miles an hour. Not too bad. So here are headlines as we make our way through the middle of the week. The trough that moved through is gone. We've got the leftover clouds, some gradual warming temperatures hovering right around average, maybe a little bit above in some spots and a little bit below in others, but basically in that ballpark for the next couple of days. Big warm up next week as high pressure intensifies. 71 for your high today, 74 is the average on this day, so we're going to be running just a touch below average. We continue that trend that we started with just a few days ago where we saw those temperatures dip down. Here's the low where it stands. It moved through yesterday. It was pretty impressive for some time for some of our mountain communities getting a little late season snow. None of it really sticking to the ground, but it certainly was fun. And then, of course, we had a little bit of rain and lightning in the DeVore area and up towards Big Bear. That trough now pushing off to the east. And before we start tapping into that high pressure, we have a pretty active storm track, so we're going to see some systems ride right through this trough, and that'll keep us on the cooler side and breezy side as we make our way through the next couple of days. But eventually, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, this high pressure really starts to build in, and we're off to the races with some very warm temperatures back into the 90s, mid-90s, maybe even temperatures near 100 degrees again next week. For the time being, we're looking at daytime highs today into the 70s, 70 in San Bernardino, 71 in Moreno, Valley, 68 in Apple Valley. We've got 72 for a daytime high in Chino, 70 in La Puente, and then uh, up to the north in Ventura County. Temperatures into the upper 60s to low 70s, 68 degrees in Oxnard. Tonight, 52 in Riverside, 53 in San Bernardino, 48 up in Apple Valley, 53 in La Puente, 56 degrees in Anaheim. At the coast in the South Bay, we'll be seeing temperatures into the mid 50s overnight as well. So here's what it looks like in our extended forecast. Tomorrow, we're going to pump it up a little bit, 74 degrees, 75 on Friday, 76 on Saturday. So it's just sort of a, a slow rise. Then we start to tap into that high pressure. And you can see how the temperatures really start to take hold. I'd say by a week from now, Wednesday, we are going to be dealing with some pretty decent heat. 